Georgia Tech's great football tradition began with legendary coach Heisman, whose name has come to symbolize football excellence. Ironically, the Yellow Jackets senior quarterback Joe Hamilton figured prominently in this season's Heisman voting, finishing second. Here comes Hamilton. Joe's going to keep it. Touchdown, Georgia Tech! It's back. Today, in his final college game, Hamilton plays against a Miami team that features a future Heisman hopeful, Santana Moss. Rock and roll, touchdown, Hurricane! The 55th Toyota Gator Bowl, a showcase for two top 25 teams and a pair of explosive offensive stars. NBC Sports presents the 2000 Toyota Gator Bowl. From Altel Stadium in Jacksonville, Florida, it's the Miami Hurricanes against the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. The Yellow Jackets do have the best bowl record all time, best in the nation. Georgia Tech will kick off. Miami won the toss, elected to receive. Luke Monge to kick off with Moser and Moss, the deep man for Miami. And the Toyota Gator Bowl is underway. That's Santana Moss at the six. Moss cuts back across the 25, spinning his way to the 34-yard line where Jeremy Myers there's the offensive lineup with Mercier and Gonzalez, all Americans up front for the Canes. <laughs> Kelly, Jackson, Fulcher, Moss, Wayne and Franks. Franks, the tight end, is an all-American and a definite pro prospect. First down play for the Canes. And the give is to the lone setback, James Jackson. Picks his way forward after reversing his field. Here's the Georgia Tech defense, a defense that is uh, heavily laden with freshman players have done a good job for Coach George O'Leary coming into the defense. That's the front four with Wimbush, Mitchell, Edwards, Tillman, Clark, Myers, and Young rounding out the Georgia Tech defensive lineup. Now, they've struggled on defense, ranked 100th in the nation, and very young, as we said. High formation this time, Fulcher the fullback, Jackson the tailback. First down play. Opening series of the game, the Toyota Gator Bowl. First pass, Kelly, high but caught. Reggie Wayne made the reception, 40 during the regular season. And here's Ken Dorsey, now a quarterback, replacing Kelly. Dorsey with his first snap. It's a handoff to Jackson. And Jackson fumbles the football. And Georgia Tech recovers. Nope, they say it was down. No Eight-yard gain. For Jackson, here's a second and two. <laughs> Deflected pass and incomplete. So Dorsey's for a third down play. Will McPartland into the backfield with Jackson. McPartland is the fullback. Third and two. Fulcher in motion. Jackson, Parker's in front, has the first down. Inside the 20, still on his feet. And out of bounds around the five-yard line. Tillman knocked him out. Miami, excellent on first drives and always a good omen for them. When they do well on the opening drive, they usually win. Dorsey with a handoff to Jackson again. And Jackson for the touchdown. And the point after try is up and good. Impressive Miami drive to open the game. James Jackson got the touchdown. An eight-yard run as he tried the left side. Jackson across the goal line, and the Hurricanes on top. Miami leads Georgia Tech first quarter, 7-0. Roslin's kick bounces, taken on the bounce by Campbell. Campbell crossed the 20, broke free for a moment, and then is wrapped up at about the 26-yard line. 18 yards on the return, pretty good field position for the Jackets on their first snap. There are the numbers for Hamilton. Hamilton to throw, swing pass is complete. Gregory, Gregory evading tacklers, has almost 10 yards. He's a black of the field. 
Brown, Burks, King, Key, and Carmen up front. Carmen, second team All-American and All-ACC choice. Hamilton with Gregory Wilder Campbell White, who was co-MVP with Hamilton in the Gator Bowl last year. So Tech with a first down on its initial play from scrimmage. Here's Hamilton behind the blocker, caught for the ankle, and tripped up just across the 40. To Here's the Miami defense. Burrow, who made that tackle with Lewis, Sweeney, and Joseph up front. Nate Webster, All-American linebacker, is the leading tackler on that defense with Rump, Myers, Blades, and Reed in the defensive backfield. Second down play. Here's the reverse pitch. Campbell. Campbell has one man to beat. Put a move on him. And now with the angle, they get him out of bounds just shy of the 30-yard line. Edward Reed gives Tech a first down in Miami territory. The option give to the fullback, Wilder. He plows ahead for three. Hamilton changing the play. O'Leary well, says he does that sometimes when there's no huddle, about 90% of the time. Has the freedom to do it any time. Deflected, though, and intercepted by Matt Sweeney. Big Matt Sweeney, the senior from Lafayette, New Jersey, got a paw up to deflect the Hamilton pass. First down Miami after the turnover, and Dorsey still at quarterback. Play action fake. Dorsey rolling to his right, looking downfield, throwing a bad one. And almost intercepted during the regular season. It's 0 for 2 today. Here's the give to Jackson. This time Tech is ready for him. They hit him at the line of scrimmage and drive him back. Wayne, King, and Moss, three wide receivers in the formation for Dorsey. Dorsey delivers incomplete between his two intended receivers. Bubba Franks was one of them. Hammy and Hester, the deep man for the Jackets. Hester will let it bounce, and it bounds into the end zone for the touchback. First down, Georgia Tech at their own 20-yard line, trailing 7-0. Hamilton rolling, now in trouble, and finding a seam up the middle. Cracked down after a game of about 7 by Damian Lewis. The thing is, Coach George O'Leary says, uh, I wouldn't bet against him. Carried and make an NFL roster next season. Here's the option play, and the give is to Wilder, the fullback. He was out behind Kinlaw's, but they used to have the pickup football game. Hamilton, swing pass for Gregory over his head and incomplete. Here's the third down play for the Yellow Jackets. Third and six. Hamilton, scrambling free. Will not have the first down. Miami was ready for his scramble. Dan Morgan, ring student for Georgia Tech, sends it on its way and blocks. And taken down at the 19-yard line. Dyke made the saving tackle, but James Lewis spot the ball at the 18-yard line. Miami already leading 7-0. Jackson tries the right side. And Georgia Tech with a great defensive job series. And now it's Kelly back again. Fulcher, the motion man. Kelly to throw. Complete. He's also going to start the throw. That would seem to be critical, too, uh, the index finger on his throwing hand. Pass for the end zone. No good. Out of bounds. Santana Moss. So Andy Crosland will attempt the field goal on fourth down. It'll be a 38 yard attempt. Popovich to hold. 38 yards, the kick is up, and no good. Well, once again, Georgia Tech narrowly averts disaster. Index finger on his right hand, which is dislocated, but not at the moment. As Georgia Tech takes over. Gregory. Sean Gregory. Had a $450,000 signing bonus in the Tampa Bay organization. Option fake, Hamilton fires. By Kelly Campbell. Imagine standing at the bottom of the dormitory and trying to throw a ball through a window. It was Webster that paid that time. He gave up a 28-yard completion. Miami showing blitz on first down. Option play. Hamilton with the keep. Hit hard and dropped at the 35-yard line. Hamilton now has carried four times, 21 yards. 
Draw play, Gregory. Sean Gregory to the 29-yard line. And First down, Georgia Tech, trailing 7-0. First quarter, Toyota Gator Bowl. Again, option, pullback. Wilder. So where he is today. Second and eight. Hamilton, quick toss, complete, and then dropped by Gregory. And O'Leary said that this was the best part of Miami's defense, their third down pass. From the shotgun, low snap, Hamilton picks it up, lofts it for the end zone over the head of his intended receiver, Kelly Campbell, and incomplete. Manje to attempt a field goal. Picks it up, and it is no good. About a 45-yard field goal, no good. Miami taking over at their own 27-yard line. And the give is to Jackson. And Jackson breaking free and rips off about 14 yards across the 40. To the he averaged 4.6 yards a carry during the regular season, had 782 yards rushing. Here he is again. Managed to evade the initial hit. He really would occupy the starting job. Kelly appeared to be changing the play. It's a give to Jackson. And Jackson breaking into the secondary once more. Across midfield into Georgia Tech territory. We found out yesterday Chris Young is from Blackjack, Georgia. He had 21 that time. Play action fade. Kelly's pass on target. Complete to Moss. Santana Moss using his blockers to the sideline and caught from behind at the 18-yard line once again by Chris Young. High formation. Mike Cartland is the fullback. And the handoff to Jackson. And Jackson stopped for a loss this time with the turnovers and the block punt today. Final seconds of the first quarter. In motion is King. Kelly's pass caught. Short gain on the play. King, who is in motion. And that is the end of the first quarter in the Toyota Gator Bowl. It's been all Miami so far. They've been able to stifle that potent Georgia Tech offense. And the Canes, who came onto the field with a rush, have met their Yellow Jacket foes and lead Tech 7-0 after one. Third down play here for the Canes. Third and seven. The ball at the 15-yard line of Georgia Tech. Kelly from the gun. Short pass, crossing across the middle, and touchdown Miami, Andre King. King crossing... Picking off the pass and untouched into the end zone. His fifth touchdown reception of the season. In year, it's not quite true. And ironically, uh, he was drafted by Atlanta uh, for baseball. Powerful Georgia Tech offense. About time for them to get in gear. The Jackets have a chance to win the game. Taken by Campbell, and he's going to bring it out. He's across the 20 and just short of the 25-yard line. Meanwhile, Georgia Tech looking for an answer to the Miami defense. Hamilton throws on first down, wide open. And the catch made. Andrew Jeske, the tight end. First down play, spot the ball at the Tech 38. And off to Gregory, got nothing. In fact, lost on the play, second and 12. Hamilton's pass drops. Kelly Campbell, it's third and 12. There'll be some teammates' voices in here as well. Hamilton's in the shotgun. Miami shows blitz. Here they come. Pass behind and incomplete. Flag down could be roughing the passer. It's roughing the passer. These officials are from the Defense, Mountain West Conference. 15 yard That's penalty. Bill Automatic first down. As Tech's first third down conversion. First down option, and the pitch to the tailback, Gregory. He's across the 45, to second down and six. Gregory, cutting back, got a couple of tough yards. Third and long, the Jackets trying to convert a third down. And stopped for a loss on the play. Feed a strong safety making the play for Miami is Dyke. Short punt, down by Tech at about the 26-yard line. Miami takes over at its own 26-yard line, leading 14-0. 
Kelly, play action fake, and has a man wide open. Caught by Bubba Franks. Big Bubba lowers his head and booms to midfield. Going to be rookie of the year as Big Bubba rambles for 23 on that one. First down play, and again to the tailback. Clinton Portis gets his first carry. He's the freshman. Second and eight for the Canes. Portis again gets the call. Trailing 14-0. Kelly, short drop, pass over the head of his intended receiver, King. For him. Freddie Capshaw punting. Marvius Hester is the tech receiver. Calls for the fair catch and takes it. And his defense ranked 12th in the nation in scoring defense. They look every bit of, look every bit of that today. On second down, Hamilton fakes, rolls, fires, drops. And Rajeski, Hamilton changing the play in the shotgun. Flags will stop that one. Prior to the snap, false start, offense, five-yard penalty, remains third down. Hamilton with plenty of time, pass short. Short hop. Dyke has already had one block today, his first block of the season. They don't rush him that time, and Santana Moss has to run up under this one high, but not long. And now tries to get behind the wall. Moss to the 45. Moss to the 40. Down the sideline, and his momentum just carried him out of bounds. They saved the money for the all-you-can-eat buffet. Yeah, that's the trouble, though. After all that work, they went to the all-you-can-eat buffet and undid all the good work. <laughs> James Jackson, second down and 14 after Jackson lost on the first down carry. Play action fake. Ken Dorsey at quarterback and a mix up his receivers. That one not even close. Reggie Wayne. And he earned that in those three ball games he started. So the freshman Phenom Dorsey as you saw 0 for 4. Looking for his first completion here on third and long. Pressure sets up a screen pass but that play is whistled dead. Greg gathers down the freshman defensive end. You know, that play, I mean it was whistled dead late. Clay Brooks is is after Dorsey. It's a pretty bonehead play by Clay Brooks, an academic all ACC. Jackson dodging tacklers and spinning to the 22 yard line. But he would get next year if he returns. Second down, Dorsey's pass incomplete, intended for Bubba Franks. And Butch Davis said he played the guy who has the hot hand. I think the guy with the hot hand and the bad finger was on the sideline. Third and six for Dorsey. Short drop. Wings it out to the sideline. Now we got movement. And that play will not count. Prior to the snap. Full start. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Remains third down. Dorsey rolling with protection. It breaks down, and as he fires it, it comes up short for Moss. Crosley will attempt a 46-yard field goal. It's a fake. It's a fake. Popovich, the holder, with the carry, and will be stopped short of the first down. Chris Young, the strong safety, trailing 14-0 with 7.38 left till halftime. Hamilton on first down. A pass caught. Dez White's first reception of the game. Only way about 216 right now. From nearby Orange Park, Florida, in fact, went to the Bowles School, the practice field where the Yellow Jackets worked out. Georgia Tech able to pick up the first down. Here's the option. And the pitch fumbled. And the ball's loose. Gregory fumbled the pitch. And I want to say Hamilton. Joe Hamilton got back on it. Five or six yard run. They don't want to just sit back there and let him throw deep. Roger Leary say he wanted Hamilton to go out the way he deserved with a win, and that pass high and incomplete. He likes to compete. He's been over his head today so far. Third down and 16. That lone conversion was a result of a penalty. Hamilton can't get it done that way. Back to the line of scrimmage, and then a late yeah, flag. That'll be 15 yards. Well, for the second time, Miami has given Georgia Tech a third down conversion by penalty. Wilder, the fullback, carrying tacklers with him close to the first down. 
This is the 75th anniversary of the four horsemen in Notre Dame beating Stanford in the Rose Bowl. Hamilton on the option. A couple of yards. It's a 14 nothing on the scoreboard. Hamilton is play action fake and his pass caught just short of the 30 yard line. Diving catch made by Dez White. Comes up with the catch and show that ball to the officials. Tech showing a bit of a spark. Here's Hamilton on a first down pass and again the receiver wide open. Dez White again ducking out of bounds. Tech with a first down. Miami 17. Option play. Hamilton keeps to the 10. Five touchdown. Joe Hamilton. stage of the first half. Manje's extra point is up and through, and Georgia Tech with 4-12 left till halftime finally has scored. But you pound the middle, you pound the middle, everyone collapses in the middle, Joe Hamilton appears out of the pile, and magically, they have seven points on the scoreboard. And they have cut the Miami lead in half at the Gator Bowl. After three quarters, it was 180 to <laughs> At least I didn't have to watch film back then. <laughs> Kickoff, bounce, taken by Aaron Moser. Moser upended at the 20-yard line. Beautiful special teams. I think he's making a couple guys at home proud right now. Jackson used his blocker as well. Went across the 25. Tim Dorsey has yet to complete a pass. Remember, Kelly dislocated his index finger on his right hand in the first quarter, and maybe it's begun to swell or bother him. On the draw play, Clintus Portis, Portis has some room. Portis is down the sideline. Portis to the 10, and Portis will score. Clinton Portis threatening the Gator Bowl record. 73 yards, a new Gator Bowl record. As quickly as that, Miami comes right back with a score of their own, and the extra point is good. Well, the only thing, they might have left too much time on the clock for Joe Hamilton. Roslin's kickoff, taken into the end zone. Campbell comes out with it. Spins away from the first man and takes it to the sideline. Puts on another move, crosses the 20. Hauled down at the 25-yard line by Philip Buchanan. Now, Tiger said if he won, he'd donate that million bucks to his uh, charity. Hamilton keeping in. Netting a yard or two before he's wrapped up. And the guy runs 73 yards yeah, on your replacement. Jackson thinking that was my 73. I needed those 73 yards. Hamilton's pass is short and incomplete. Perform their task. As he told us, he really hasn't had a chance to reflect on his great season, all that happened to him this year because he was so intent on preparing for this final game. Glover makes the catch there. Dan Dyke to punt. Santana Moss deep for Miami. And another attempt at a block. Miami blocked one of Dyke's punts already today as Moss makes a fair catch at the... Kenny Kelly returns a quarterback now for Miami. He's in the shotgun on first down. Fox shows 154 second quarter. Kelly's pass complete, wide open. Catch made by Bubba Franks. Bubba some moves and a dive to the 45 and 46 yard line. His face mask there after uh, plowing it up with a dive. Kelly again with a hot hand as you said. Second completion in a row. First down, Kerry Jackson. Jackson follows his blocker, and he has nine yards. Second and short. Kelly from the shotgun. Another completion. Andre King. King trying to get some extra yardage. Retreat a little bit. Will be close to the first down marker. Personal foul against the Jackets. Well, Kenny wouldn't be the uh, first Kelly to excel at quarterback in Miami, would he? Yeah, I remember another guy, Jim Kelly. Setting up the screen, and it wasn't there. But if you can't get to the quarterback with your blitz, you're in trouble on the outside. Ted Ruth, the beleaguered Tech defensive coordinator, was a member during his playing days of the Tech Black Watch defense. Here's Santana Moss making the grab in the flat and the ball at the nine-yard line of Georgia Tech on third down. <laughs> Kelly fakes the pass to Jackson and is sacked back at the 20-yard line. Greg gathers 37 yards. Andy Crossland, 37-yard attempt. 
47 is longest on the season, and this one is no good. Another miss for Croslin, his second of the game. Hamilton's looking for some room. Dives back to the 20-yard line, back to the line of scrimmage. Beautiful sunny day at the Gator Bowl in Jacksonville. Hamilton fires to Dez White, makes the catch at the 30. And they'll run it and get nothing to the 30. Well, now it's taking any time. Well, the cornerbacks are 15 yards off their men. Get beat deep here, you're in big trouble. <laughs> Don't even go to the locker room. Hamilton throws it as far as he can, and it's tipped and out of bounds, and the first half comes to a close. Well, Hamilton and the Tech offense, save one brief spurt, have been held in check during this first half. At halftime, 21-7. Let's go to Craig Sager. 21-7 Miami as we start the third quarter in the Toyota Gator Bowl. This is Campbell. Kelly cuts back right into the Miami special teams coverage. Hamilton on first down, fakes to Gregory, rolls and delivers a pass complete. And it'll be a, a tech first down as Russell Matvey, the backup tight end. Fullback. Five carries, 27 yards for Wilder as Gregory gets the call here. And Sean Gregory breaking away, lowers his head and rams inside the 40-yard line. From the 39 of Miami, first down, Georgia Tech. And the option again. And Hamilton keeps, can't get away. Came up and got him. Get that ball out. Hamilton faked uh, the dive play, reverse pivot with the option. It got nothing, and this good news for Hurricane fans. Third and ten for Georgia Tech. Low snap. Hamilton picks it up and rifles it complete, but short of the first down to Kelly Campbell. Mike Rupp hit him immediately and made sure. Chris Collinsworth and I had a lot of chili dogs <laughs> at the varsity, I can tell you that. Fourth down for Georgia Tech. Fourth and three. Critical play for the Jackets, trying to get back in it, and it's complete for the first down. Gordon Clinkscale out of the backfield, makes the catch from Hamilton. Webster knocks him out of bounds. Hamilton pitching, and uh, trying to change the momentum here early in the second half. Hand off to Gregory. John Gregory thrown back after he reached. Wilder lined up at a wing back to the bottom of the screen. And the pass by Hamilton is low and no good, incomplete. And Des White just can't get his hands under to make the catch. Manje attempts the field goal. A 26-yard boot. That is good. So Georgia Tech takes the second half kickoff. They convert a fourth down, but have to settle for the field goal. A 25-yarder officially. That makes it 21-10, Miami. Manje to kick off for Georgia Tech with Moss and Moser, the deep men. Into the end zone, Moss takes it on the fly. Cuts back to the 25, flag down. Moss is off to the races, one man to beat, cuts back, using his blocker well, he'll take it to the end zone for the touchdown, but there's a flag back up field. Out in the open field, two guys in front of him, the ability to set them up, and maneuver, weave them in and out. So Miami takes over with a first down at its own 17, wiping out the Moss touchdown run. Kelly at quarterback. Makes the play action fake. His pass drops a little high. Kelly retreats to pass, being chased by the Tech defenders. Throws it. There were two men right together. Off the hand of Fulcher, an incomplete third and ten. One of the things Miami has not done well today is convert third downs. Kelly pumped once. Let it go and way long over the head of... Catch 
Kershaw spins it toward Hester, who fields it at the 42. Was hit hard and dropped at the 45-yard line. When you don't expect to get hit, that's when you get hurt the most. But good field position for the Yellow Jackets. They start from their own 45. Option play, and Hamilton with daylight. Joe Hamilton puts on a move and is taken down just short of the 40-yard line by Edward Reed. Hamilton given time down the sideline, Dez White. And a flag comes down as he collided with Chris Campbell, who was covering. Your pick play, because you had the play action fake in the backfield. He faked out with the ball at the 27-yard line of Miami. First down. <laughs> Hamilton ducks under, makes it to the 24-yard line. <laughs> Hamilton swings it to Gregory, hit immediately and dropped by Dan Morgan. Sorry. Third and 12. Comes the blitz. Low snap, blitz, and a flag down once again, late hit. And then, uh, with the whistles blowing to stop the play, Miami kept coming. You know, that, that snap from the shotgun from Noah King has been Ooh. at Joe Hamilton's ankles. Saw Georgia Tech's production inside the red zone. They're at the 19 here. Here's the reverse. Campbell, nowhere to go. Back at the 23-yard line by Leonard Myers. And it's second and 15. Pumps once, does Hamilton, and goes for the end zone. And the pass is incomplete, intended for Campbell, but Leonard Myers defended. Tight formation here. They got a blitz coming again. Low snap picked up by Hamilton. His pass, his receiver fell down. His receiver had fallen, Des White, at the seven-yard line. That's ended up hitting the goal post. Well, you got to be able to jump 10 feet to get it. <laughs> Field goal attempt is blocked. That's been the trend, hasn't it, this bowl season? Special teams plays. Changing the play. The defense shifted left. He may go to his left. He does with a handoff to Jackson. James Jackson closing in on 100 yards, 15 carries for 80. Remember, he had 50 on the Canes' first drive of the game. Intercepted. Kelly's pass intercepted by Jamar Clark. Clark down the sideline, bumped out of bounds by Kelly. Intended for Santana Moss. And Clark right there. The and he should have been able to stop, at least get a hand on it. Tech has had ample opportunities to get back in this game, see if they can capitalize on this turnover. In play from that wishbone look and the pitch Gregory Sean Gregory down the sideline hit hard knocked out of bounds at the 22 by Chris Campbell 16 yard gain first down tech option again Hamilton keeps this time cuts up to the 16 yard line on the last series option again Hamilton keeps they cut off the pitch well defensed by Miami third and six they're kicking field goals this is almost two down territory nothing there on the you can't allow penetration from the offensive line Manje puts it on its way 37 yard attempt good so Georgia Tech converts the interception into three points it narrows the gap 321 left in the third 21 13 Miami Moss and Moser are awaiting Monje's kickoff. Miami's been in action since uh, last August, late August, I guess, with the kickoff classic game against Ohio State. Moser's oh, no. return, and over on the sideline, the flags fly. Side of the white boundary. Yeah, we've seen that. He sends Ken Dorsey back up under center. Dorsey at quarterback for Kelly. Moss in motion. Dorsey completes the pass but for little or no gain. And team captain does a lot of things right on the football field. That was Ken Dorsey's first completion. It went for zero yards. This one is going to be about the same. Miami's up 21-13. Dorsey's pass is incomplete, intended for Jackson. Turned upon for Georgia Tech this season, so 
Glover is out there for Capshaw's punch. Will Glover retreats, tries to get to the outside, and has a pretty nice return around the 30-yard line. That's the Brian Boitano Holiday Skating Spectacular tomorrow at 4 Eastern on NBC. The guys, the snap, snap. contact by the defense, offside, five-yard penalty. Remains first down. By the way, to your comment, a thousand about, years ago, to your comment about who wants to watch a bunch of guys skate, there are a lot. But they invite some good-looking <laughs> women to come skate with them. A lot of females who control the clickers. And Butch Davis has given the official an earful because Tech had 12 guys in the huddle on that last play. Handoff to Gregory who slips. Hamilton in the shotgun on third down and five. And the catch made, but short of the first down. And that play will bring a close to the third quarter at the Toyota Gator Bowl at the end of three. Miami leads 21-13, although Tech ruled in that third quarter. Back to the Toyota Gator Bowl right after these messages and a word from your local station. The boot at his own 20. Low kick and short. Bounces and takes a Miami bounce. It'll be marked out of bounds. Hamilton had a rough start and starting to find his legs. Here's Portis. And Portis, who ripped off that 73-yarder earlier. Ken Dorsey is the quarterback for Miami. And they give again to Portis. And Clinton Portis. Fulcher is in motion. The handoff is to Portis. And Clinton Portis will be stopped very close to the first down. All the officials are out there, and they're getting the measurement ready in George O'Leary. He, he wants one. Dorsey on first down. Attempts a short pass to McPartland. No place to go. Does manage to lower his head and get back to the line of scrimmage. Quarterback Ken Dorsey has not had a good day throwing the football on third and ten. Going to roll. Cut off. Looks downfield. Wired on a rope to the 40 to Santana Moss. Pass. Kind of had a wobble on it, but it got there. And a first down Miami. They're at the 40-yard line of the Yellow Jackets. Dorsey hit as he let that one go, and a one-handed catch made by Reggie Wayne. Wayne steps out of a tackle and has a Miami first down. Dorsey just threw a rainbow. That's because Georgia Tech is blitzing and playing that zone coverage behind him. Reggie Wayne stepped out of his shoe, had to get it put back on. That was the move he made to get first down yardage. Here's a running play to Portis. He's too big to be invisible. Tech's done a good job of taking him out of the game, apparently. Hand off to Portis his way forward and has exceeded 100 yards rushing now. Or, uh, or a guy who can just block. He's both. Third down and three. Play action fake. Pass complete to McPartland. And he has the Miami first down. Georgia Tech recapturing the momentum or capturing it. They've never had it really. On the sweep. Portis. Georgia Tech defense did a good job of stringing it out. Second down. Dorsey fakes the handoff, throws for the end zone, and the pass is great catch. Touchdown, Reggie Wayne. Reggie Wayne and Jamar Clark stand side by side. Wayne has them by about five inches, and you can see the difference right there. Good coverage by Clark. Oslin, the extra point attempt, puts it up and through the uprights and good. So Miami appeared to be knocked back on their heels by Georgia Tech. Totally ineffective in the third quarter. But they open the fourth with an impressive drive to take command of the game. Dorsey hitting Reggie Wayne in the end zone. And now after the extra point, it's Miami 28 and Georgia Tech 13. White and Campbell, the deep end. Georgia Tech into the end zone where Campbell again will bring it out and he's to the 30 
cuts back and then taken down at that spot. He's been 18 and four his last 22 games, has seven game-saving drives. Can he make it eight? Play action fake, and he goes deep down the sideline. And the catch is not quite made. And the co-MVP with Hamilton last year in the Gator Bowl. Hamilton's pass. Nice catch. That time Dez went up top to haul it in. And the ground. <laughs> on the uh, triple option handoff to Ed Wilder. And he has about a 10-yard gain out of 32 seniors on both teams playing in their final collegiate contest. One of them, Joe Hamilton, put a handoff. Clint Scale got very little. Second and 10, the Miami defenders. Good ball. Full start. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Remains second down. Second down and 15 for Georgia Tech. Joe Hamilton across the middle. Should have been picked off through the hands of Nate Webster. The high-powered Georgia Tech offense held at 27 points below their average. Low snap. Hamilton picks it up. Rares back and heaves it for White downfield, and it will be incomplete. Dan Dyke in punt formation. Moss at the 10. Trying to work his way free, but can't wiggle loose. They beat Notre Dame here last year. Play action fake. Dorsey at quarterback and has Bubba Franks. Bubba still on his feet, almost to midfield. They didn't forget about Bubba that time. Dorsey, after going forever to complete a pass, has now hit five in a row. Handoff. Jackson. Jackson again. Had a hold for a moment, which closed in a hurry. The man who literally put Alvin, South Carolina, on the map. The state changed the maps to put that town of 500, home of Joe Hamilton, on it the next time one is issued. Lover is deep for the Capshaw punt on fourth down. Good punt by Capshaw. Lover's going to let it hit, but it does bound into the end zone. Georgia Tech takes over on its own 20-yard line. Precious few seconds left for Joe Hamilton, who comes out on a quarterback draw and picks up nine yards to the 29-yard line. And they're going with the no huddle. Second and short. The clock at 420. Behind Des White, incomplete. Matt Walters replacing Lewis. Hamilton dives ahead for the first down. Hamilton's pass on target. Catch made by Des White. Hamilton with the complete. He got it complete to Clink Scale out of the backfield. That tech trails by 15 points. And time running out. Hamilton's pass good. Inside the 20 to Kerry Watkins. Ball's at the 16 of Miami. Hamilton's pass fumbled away, incomplete by Russell Matvey. 3.44 on the clock. Hamilton sacked at the 25-yard line by strong safety Edward Reed. So it's fourth and 16. Vortech, one last gasp for the Yellow Jackets. Hamilton steps up. For the end zone, intercepted. Intercepted by Leonard Myers. And it never trailed. Georgia Tech got a little spark just before halftime and then came out and dominated the third quarter. So they didn't put that many points on the board and then Miami turned it around with a long drive in the fourth and their defense, again, completely cutting off any Georgia Tech rally. James Jackson had a big game for Miami. James Jackson again tripped up. He'll now have a chance to reflect on his great collegiate career and start to thinking about 
may be making the NFL despite his diminutive size. James Jackson breaking tackles. That's a fumble. And Joe fumble. Hamilton is back on the field. And Georgia back in Tech. business. Georgia Tech recovers. Just a minute 19 showing, though. Ball just short of midfield. Hamilton. Nice move by Dez White to evade the initial tackler, and then he goes out of bounds. Hamilton again completes it in the flat. This one to Clint Scale. It ducks out of bounds. Makes the freeze up. You see the line of linebackers there 10 yards deep. Hamilton chased from the pocket and sacked. January 10th is the date that underclassmen must declare for the NFL draft. Hamilton got away from the first wave. Bureau and then... Hamilton winds up and delivers. Out of bounds. Thank you, guys. And Miami will take a knee and down the clock. And the Hurricane faithful will start thinking about next season, which should be a bright one for Butch Davis and his Hurricanes. As the final seconds tick away, the Toyota Gator Bowl Championship belongs to the University of Miami Hurricanes and their coach, Butch Davis. The final score, Miami 28, Georgia Tech 13.